Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a long time. This is Coach coming at you. Untouchable Customs, we are back in the shop. It's been about three months, if not more. Here today to talk a little bit about the progress that uh, I'm gonna do today. That's gonna be taking the seat covers off of the seats and hopefully spraying the springs and getting it all prepared to have new seat covers and new cushions put on. Um, the progress on Jock has really come to a halt. Um, Chris has been super, super busy, so he has not been able to get uh, get to Jock on the body work, uh, you know, which needs all a lot of metal replaced, a lot of fabricating, um, and prepare for paint. So don't know when that's going to happen, but hopefully um, it will happen. But what's up today is this weekend, um, my seat covers came in. I ordered the seat covers back in, I want to say November. They told me that they would be done and shipped out in August. And surprisingly, I got them about two weeks ago. I was really, really surprised. Um, pleasantly surprised so um, I really believe I could do the seat covers myself but I would like to leave uh, that part to a professional um, which like I said doesn't seem that bad I'm definitely going to break the seats down take the old seat covers off old seat cushions off um, and then I'm going to prep the springs because they, they, they look a little rusty hopefully they're in good shape um, I don't have to add any springs or anything like that. I can just kind of sand them down and spray them, have them looking real nice. And then when I, when I drop them off this weekend, see cover springs, you know, next week I'll have, um, I have new spring. I'm sorry. I'll have, uh, refurbished and restored seats. So that's, that's the goal. Um, and then we'll just keep going from there. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you some content. I'm out of work for the summer. As you know, I'm a school teacher. I work at a high school. So I'm hoping that uh, these 10 weeks that I have off, I'll be able to get some type of progress done on job. Um, I am almost ready to paint the rear end, put the new axles in, um, put the seals in, put the, um, and then paint it. And then I'm gonna put a 355 gear in it. Uh, there was a 323 in it, but um, 355 will be a little bit uh, better for it. So that's what I'm gonna go with for right now. But so I'm gonna bring these uh, Breaking down the seat covers taking them off content to you. So stay tuned
Well, that's the bottom part of the back seat. Finally disassembled. It's it's uh it's not bad at all. It's just just a lot of those um, hooks. You know, can be time consuming. Um, you know, as you can see, this, this is rusty. It's old, but it's from 1969. I did see a little tag uh, right here. Um, not sure what it is, but uh, the number is, let's see. WSP. Two eight five eight seven zero. I know W is Cornet class and S is special. Not sure what the P is. I'm gonna have to try to look that up. But uh, so in a few minutes, I'm gonna attempt to do the top part of the back seat, which is right here. It should be pretty much the same concept. So. More than likely, I won't bring you a whole lot of footage of that, but I'll be back, so stay tuned. So I'm all done. Um, it got a little easier on the second one, uh, taking the cover off, but I did uh, kind of set it on fire a little bit, but I got it out. So here we are. That is the back, completely clean. I gotta just scuff it a little bit tomorrow and I'm gonna paint it same with this one uh, the spring some of the springs are rather kind of weak but um we'll we'll see if some springs need to be added or not but um yeah so tomorrow I'm hoping to paint those and I'm hoping to if you can see them they're a little dark over here but to take the bucket seats apart um, the same way I did the back. Um, you know, I got out here kind of late, but it was productive. And I haven't been out here in a long time. And I'm going to be honest, man. I, I just really haven't been motivated, man. I mean, I was hoping the, 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 the beat would be picked up uh, sometime back in January, February to get the metal work done. Um, but like I said, that hasn't happened. You know, things happen. Um, restorations like that. You know, um, people get busy. Life happens. They have other things going on. So... And it, it doesn't make the car. So I got cut off, obviously, the battery died. I, I haven't had the batteries charged in forever, so it, it didn't last long. But like I was saying, you know, things happen um, when you're trying to get things done. Um, and, of course, you know, it's always about money, too, as well as um, the person doing the work for you, uh, not being able to, having other things going on. And even if they're strictly painting and doing body work as a full-time job sometimes, um jobs are delayed your 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 car is delayed you know you you give them half of the money or all of the money and then you know the motivation is gone or this happens that happens and you know your car is not finished when they said it was going to be finished and i understand that you know if you tell a person you know two months four months five months you know but when it turn when that five months turns into a year two years you know and for some people three years and to the point where they, you know, they lose interest in it and end up selling the car or just don't pay for it and then now it becomes the shop's car. It, um, it's frustrating. So, you know, um, I've had those days before and like I said, it's, it's been a little frustrating, you know, because I expected Jock to be picked up back in January. I expected him to be back now. Hopefully the goal was for him to have been painted by now and, you know, I can move on to my next steps of uh, putting him back together. But, um, we're going to dance around that a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to have the seats recovered um, and then put them in plastic and put those away and have that part of the list checked off. And then I'm going to work on the rear end, hopefully get that checked off within the next couple of weeks. Um, this Friday, though, um, next couple of days, I'm going with my buddy Murray, a uh, guy I met a couple of years ago at the Piatone Swap Meet. Um, he's going to go drive down to Indy to join the Power Tour uh, that they have every year. So... I think I'm going to go down there with him um, early Friday morning, about 4 a.m., um, to just kind of check that out. Um, I saw it a few years ago when it came through uh, the Chicago area, uh, but I didn't actually participate. I just kind of went and hung around and watched, the, looked at the cars a little bit. But 
I'll actually be in this one because Murray's driving uh, one of his cars. I think he said his 77 El Camino. He's got like five cars, 70 Road Runner, uh, 1987 uh, um, a Buick GNX, a real GNX, uh, one of 531 or 500 and something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, he's got a real, like I said, real cool 70 Road Runner, um, 77 El Camino. That's kind of a one of a kind. Um, a Camaro, I can't remember the year, uh, maybe a 80, 82, 83 or something like that. But he's got a couple of cool cars that um, I'm sure at one point, some point in time, I'll uh, get to show you guys. So, but until then, um, you know, like I say, it's been a long time. But if you turn the notification bell on and you subscribe to my channel, you will know when I do post a video. And I'll be posting this one uh, hopefully by tomorrow. So you guys can see my content of disassembling the seats. Like I said, once again, make sure you turn the notification bell on, subscribe to the channel, and like this video. So, till the next time, this is Coach at Untouchable Customs. Holla!